Is there a more famous par 5 in the world than the 13th at Augusta National? Well, that's the first one we're about to play in this chapter of our six-part series, making our way around that iconic golf course in simulated fashion. 13, 14, and 15 are straight ahead. Hello friends, Bill Hobson here. Welcome inside the MGL Sim Studio where we are heading down the almost the home stretch of this kind of fantasy sequence of playing our way all the way through a course that greatly resembles the host site for the season's first major. It shall remain nameless. If you were with us in the prior video, you'll know why I'm, I'm still sighing because I, I played pretty well up until number 12. An innocent par three with a little creek that runs in front I can recall a number of times throughout history when some great players took big numbers there, like 10s and 12s. All I had to do was hit an 8-iron to the, to the putting surface. We'd have been just fine. Didn't do that. Put a ball in the water, put a ball in the bunker, put a ball over the green, and took a triple bogey, which is why I'm now at plus 5 in danger of missing the imaginary cut on the imaginary course. We come to number 13. A hole that we all know so well, especially the approach shot into the green, but what a stunner it is, even just from the tee box. When you come back here and look at this thing from tee to green, just spectacular. But remember, this is another time when you're forced to shape your tee shot. You don't have to go through those trees like the camera did, but you do need to hit some sort of a hook, or at least a solid draw, that comes around that corner and gives you a chance to, uh, to look at the green for your second shot. Now, if you're just joining us, if this is the first video you've watched in this series, I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't draw the ball very well. So <laughs> that could indeed be a problem. In fact, I'm a little worried that it has me aimed too far left because I've been playing quite a fade. So I'm gonna move my aim over here. If I can draw it, all the better. And I would love to hit it into a little bit of a speed slot so I could realistically take a shot at the green in two. That triple bogey is going to just be the death of me. All right, gotta, you gotta, you got to shake it off. Whether you're playing simulator golf or real golf, after a bad hole, next play. you got to move on. Next hole, you got to shake it off. So let's get after one. Let's get a couple of those shots back. That's not the draw. You may see by that yellow tracer that that's the opposite of a draw. Well, I hit that one about straight up, too. Okay, well, it's not in the trees. <laughs> that answers my question about getting home in two. It's actually coming back a little bit to my benefit. All right, so we've got 250 to the hole. We've got 216, 220-ish to get to the edge of the creek on the left side. I don't want to be anywhere near that left side. I'm going to hit a, hopefully, a, about a 200-yard five wood. But remember, at Augusta, the ball is always above your feet, which means your shot is usually going to go left. So let's move my aiming point over to the right. So we give ourselves a little leeway here. You can miss right here on 13, but left is dead. I didn't hit it great, but it should be okay. Yeah, it's going to be all right. Kind of got that off the heel a bit. Turned out I'm glad I moved the aiming point over where I did. Okay. Well, this is the money shot here. 53 yards. Got a little bit of a backstop back there. Let's take a look at the target, the heat map. Well, remember, blue is the lowest, lowest point. If I hit this short into that blue, it's coming back down into Ray's Creek. So we've got to take this up. We can get behind the hole a little bit. So instead of hitting at the 52.8 yards that I actually have, I'm going to try to hit it about 55 yards. Of course, if I was that accurate, I wouldn't have tripled number 12. But hey, who's, who's keeping track? All right, a little 55-yard shot here. Oh, I pulled it. I'm so worried about getting the number, I forgot the direction. This should come back a bit. It does not. Okay. 
much better. Le leaves himself a nice little 26 footer to, uh, to save a par. <laughs> or so sorry to make a birdie. Oh my goodness, I'm still rattled. Okay, here we go. Going left to right here at the top, going downhill about a foot. So this is gonna move at 26 feet. We're gonna play this about 20-ish feet. That's gonna be on the right. Let's see if it slows down for me. Oh no, that's gonna go for a while. Boy, I barely breathed on that thing and I left myself six and a half feet for the par. Fairly straight back up the hill though. Okay. Certainly would have appreciated a four there. Didn't get the four. But you'll never scream as an amateur about a five on 13. Here we go to 14. Let's take a look from T to green. I don't know <laughs> why the cameras continually take us through the trees off the tee. That's not normally the case. Maybe it's like subliminal that's trying to entice me into getting in there. All right, 14, pin is way back. There's like two paces behind that pin. The hole, 442, it is uphill 10 yards. So this is a pretty good length par four. And uh, we've got to get one in the fairway here for sure. It should be in the fairway. I didn't kill it, but it should be okay. A little weak baby fade again. Not going to run very far when you're uphill that much. 210 left, up the hill, all the way. Wow, okay. Now let's see if we can get one up there. A little five wood here. It's my 200 to 215 ish club. We hope, we think. Okay, I like the feel of that. That felt really good. Let's see what, if we get there. No, sit. Sit. I hit that one really well, a little too well. Because now we've got a little downhill chip here of eight yards. And you might be thinking, well, why don't, why don't you just putt that? Because in the simulator world, that, that fairway is basically the same as the full fairway, like this, this isn't fringe. And uh, I'd have a really hard time gauging how hard to hit this to get it through there. So my goal is to hit a chip right out into here. You can see the white dots are moving over this way. So we're trying to hit the chip right out into here. We hope. Sit, sit. Just went outside the circle a little bit. Otherwise, it's pretty good. A two footer to save par. Par it is. Okay. Happy for that. We parred 13 and 14. So we've come through these two holes in decent shape. And now we come to 15, the difference making par five that has so much potential for a big number or a, small or a nice little three or four. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's see what we can do here. What a gorgeous hole this is. 15, Firethorn. Not many people in the stands today. I'm surprised. Must be practice round day. Okay, 482. Now we've got, you saw in the fly through, we've got some trees on the right side we've got to be careful of because they can block you out. And then there's a tree stand that sort of juts out on the left side right up here. So um, again, a precise tee shot is really required here if you want to have a crack at going for this green and two. All right, I hit that pretty good. Let's see how she treats me. It's gonna go behind that tree stand on the left. All right. <laughs> Hit it well, please with the, with the distance, but look at that thing feed over that way. Oh, there is a little bit of space there. 
216 to the hole. Now, the question is, can I get my five wood to the front of the green, which should be in that 205-ish range, and then let it release back? Let's take a look at where the hole is actually located. It's on the back where Sunday it should be, and it's on the back sort of in a elevated spot, so that's the high spot, right? So if I can get this ball to land on the front of the green, maybe it releases back there. Or maybe I'm being foolish, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, be nice, be nice. Be nice. Sit right there. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that one. I didn't think I hit it as cleanly as I wanted to, which is probably a good thing. So, now we can get up and down, hopefully, for a birdie. We're 16 yards away. It's going a little bit left to right, and it's fairly flat. All right, let's get one here. Like it, release, 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 release. Okay, a little six footer here for Bird. How fun would it be to play this three hole stretch in one under and get past the disaster we won't talk about from before? Okay, six footer, barely moving left to right. This is one of the flatter putts on the golf course. I don't think I want to take this outside the hole at all. There we go. 13, 14, and 15. The famous azalea, Chinese fir, and firethorn. And we take it down the home stretch 16 through 18 next time. We'll see you then.